Good morning! We are not on Svalbard. We are in Miami! On vacation! Yup, that's right. It's me, Cecilia, usually reporting to you from the dark corner of the world on Svalbard. But we have swapped out the beautiful dark polar night for bright beachy days. When January comes around, we've lived in darkness for over two months, so it's a great time to travel to see some daylight and work on regaining a normal daily rhythm. Today is a bit of a windy day, but you know what? I love it. You know what the biggest thing so far, with uh, except the sunlight that has hit me, is the noise. Like, I don't mind this now because it's kind of why we're here, you know, to get a different vacation and everything, but the real world is kind of loud. But yeah, so let's get some gear on I was gonna say I don't need gear here do I I'm gonna put my workout clothes on and we're gonna head on out oh I... good morning Miami <laughs> good morning. I really like this hotel room it looks exactly like what I booked. <laughs> but this has been super comfortable. Are you ready for Okay, I think we're gonna do green, even though I, it maybe enhances my non-existing tan a little bit, but you know what? Also, shorts today might be a little bit of a stretch, but again, I'm on vacation. <laughs> I want to feel the heat, the Miami winter heat on my legs. Maybe this, per perfect. Look what I bought. There's one thing that I want for a really long time and it's these <laughs> Shearling Lululemon bags and they're better than I even thought. I bought the big, I think it was like $34. Love it, I love it so much. I bought this in the big and then the white and the small. Oh, yo, yo, look at me. Look at me. Little bit of lip. Exciting, exciting. Ready to go? My younger sister lived in Miami for over three years and used to live in this neighborhood. So for me, it's like coming back to something very familiar. Since Miami has a mild winter, it felt like the perfect destination for us since we really wanted a sort of summer vacation. Well, you know, summer to us. <laughs> I know it's a winter to all you Floridians. Seeing as our life on Svalbard is very quiet and wintry, it's really nice to visit something that is the complete opposite. Getting here was quite the wild ride though, and it took us in total three days. Our first flight out of Longyearbyen ended up getting canceled and delayed for over a day due to some plane issues, causing us to miss the rest of our flights. But everything got sorted out in the end and I never get too stressed or mad about things like that because it's just the way it is. Things can happen and most of the time you get to where you want to go at the end. And as you can see, we made it, we're here. Since Miami is six hours earlier than Svalbard, I have been living my absolute morning person dream life. We have been getting up early every morning, we're talking like six or seven, to start the day with a coffee and go for a walk down to the beach. Morning! Morning, morning. The winds are pretty warm. They are warm. Time for coffee on the beach. It's so windy. Oh my gosh.
You might also be wondering what Grim is up to while we are away, and he is on a village vacation with the amazing dog sitter Signe in Longyearbyen. She treats him like an absolute princess, so we know he is having a good time. The other day she went to pick up her grandchild at the school, and when she arrived there was a queue of 10 kids waiting to meet Grim. How cute! Can you imagine how loved Grim must feel? So we know that he is in good hands. I think since I'm so used to living in polar night and in that kind of extreme situation, I forget just how much it does affect my body. Coming here back into the daylight and waking up to a sun shining bright, I feel myself so energized, a feeling that I've really missed and it makes me look forward to the sun returning to Svalbard. Even though polar night is one of my favorite seasons, too much of anything can become tiring. And by the end of it, I am ready for brighter days. So going on a vacation in January always feels so good, like a true luxury. I didn't think my body would readjust to a regular daily rhythm so fast, but it's almost like it has been, you know, longing for a normal routine, waking up to the sunlight and winding down as the sun sets. Syster, hon brukade bo på den här ön när hon pluggade och sen dess, jag tror inte jag var tillbaka på typ fem år, åtta år, alltså jag har väldigt dålig koll, nej så lång tid kan det inte ha varit, men så hon bodde på den här ön och det här till exempel, det här kaféet är nytt, superdyrt health food café men maten är så god men det är så jäkla dyrt, men we're just here because it's so tasty. Idag är väldigt, väldigt blåsigt. Det är väldigt mycket ljud från vägen också. Man ser liksom fram emot att komma hem till tystnaden. Not gonna lie. Men det är super nice. Det är verkligen det. Super, super nice. Jag tror jag ska ha en varm latte idag. Jag har druckit islatte typ nästan varje dag. Thank you. Look at this. The coffee's here. And these acai bowls, like it's so beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> the wind. What on earth? The wind took my phone. Helvete. We also have a bagel coming because, you know. Yeah, it blows it. Oh, it's very windy right now. I am very much a breakfast person. I want to eat breakfast foods for all meals for the rest of my life. So I'm in heaven here. There are bagels and acai bowls in all directions. I'm also definitely averaging like five lattes a day and I love it so much. I really like sitting at a cafe like this and just kind of watching the world. I'm not a person to visit the must-see sites of a place. I more like to immerse myself in the everyday kind of life. Christopher, having traveled a lot in his life, is the same. Our days are not jam-packed, our schedule mainly left open for whatever we feel like doing that day. While here, our main focus is to be outdoors a lot and enjoy the warmer climate. Enjoy! <laughs> Thank you! Så det han 
this uh, gear stick. The Mahad. The breakfast was absolutely incredible, as always. It's also just right across the street from our hotel, so <laughs> it's the easiest, but we've tried many of the other places as well, especially some of the old places that were here when my sister lived here, like an old bistro and everything is still really nice. <sighs> but we love the food at Pura Vida. So now, as you saw before, Christopher was wearing my cap that we bought at uh, Bass Pro Shops. No, Outdoor World Shop. I think it's something like that. And in the store, he's like, no, I don't like that for himself. And I'm like, I love it, I'm gonna get this. And now he has been trying to steal this. He has been speaking about my cap for two days, how we should go and get him one. So we're gonna have to go and get him one. <laughs> uh, now it's his size, but it's a really nice cap. I loved the color. So we're gonna go and buy him the same one so we can match. It looks really good on, uh, on him as well. So that's gonna be just a short car ride away. And I think it's gonna be good because then I think the wind's gonna die down a little bit for our excursion adventure after this. So we're just gonna drive and do that now. We're gonna bring you guys. We're going, all of us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect, I'm gonna need my little bag. You okay down there? You all ready to go? My hair here, by the way, like the quality of the water here is so unlike the one, the water quality we have. So my hair is just coarse and just not very happy, yeah? Look at this. Ta-da. This one maybe. Okay, and this. We can go, darling. Okay, so first we need to... I have to run around with two phones because even though these have the same carrier, this is Telenor in Sweden. This is Telenor in Norway. The Sweden one gives you free internet in America and Asia and very many places, extremely good. But so I have to hotspot to this phone or to Christopher. But it works really well, doesn't it? Yeah. To have free internet, because if I would be paying for internet on this one, it would cost so much. How much was it? Like 20 bucks a day yeah, it was for good. five gigabytes or something? Yeah, it, was, it was quite a lot. Yeah, I have unlimited on this one. So that is life hack. Now we're gonna put this one on uh, navigation. This is without a doubt Christopher's favorite store. What are we looking for today? Caps? Everything. <laughs> We're gonna go home with I think two extra bags. But you know what, it is worth it. We do one of these kind of hauls when we are in America or when we're traveling, but this kind of amazing stuff we don't have in Europe. No. Especially the brand Worldwide Sportsman. This one is, it is so good. They have so many good things and everything fits Christopher so well. And I wanna get, well, we have to get the cap for him as well. So he has a matching one with me. Shopping can be fun, guys. Especially when it's outdoorsy stuff like this in a massive store.
Our friend Stura, he has been helping us so much with our cabin now that we've been gone because it's been so cold. So I think we're gonna buy, not this size, but this one for Stura together with the cat here as a thank you for him being so nice and helping us out with our cabin. We can explain a little bit more later because Christopher has had quite the field day with trying to have our cabin stay warm. It has been like minus 47, 45 degrees effective temperatures. It's been so cold. And I think it was like minus 30 in base temperature. So he has been saving us. So we have to, of course, get him some gifts as a huge thank you. So I think this color for you, Stura, if you're watching, is gonna be nice. It's kind of like a whitish brown together with a hat we're gonna buy you. That was successful. Christopher didn't get the jacket because he just wasn't feeling it. No. Nope. That's all right. But we got some caps. Tractor supply is for when we go on further up. Here you don't go to tractor supply. You know what I mean? Here you go to worldwide sportsmen stuff and fishing things. I feel like it's nice to have different vibes for different places. When my sister lived here we did this and i think it's the perfect kind of activity in the middle of miami don't you think christopher yeah not so bad it's like you just go into the little mangrove trees it's very quiet in here as well and now what's cool though is we're going to come out into the waterways and you can take these kayaks to all the way to the sandbank if you want which is really cool oh my god christopher no 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 Absolutely not take me out of here. Thank God it's not banana spider season. <laughs> I am okay with polar bears and absolutely no bugs, but this is too much nature for me. Look, stop. No, don't hop up water. Hello, raccoon is there. There's so many raccoons. Do not let them hit your ride because they are destruction bears. We'll get rabies and die. It's uh, Miami polar foxes. Miami polar foxes, indeed. Look at this. What's that? Okay, so we're coming out now to the open sea. Okay, Christopher, take us away. I'm gonna show these. Ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of boats. Oh, we are now out on the open ocean. Well, not really, we're inside here, but I feel like a lot more can happen in here. There's a lot more movement in the water. Oh my gosh, there are waves here, which means we need to control this little ship of ours. This is a good workout. A very good workout for arm and core. And according to Christopher's walk, we are doing three knots, guys. Three knots. Come on. We are now going against the wind and we are like we realize that we have to work hard <laughs> and start to prepare kind of returning because if we stop paddling we drift so far 
they didn't do the canoe rentals today because of the wind being too strong but i don't think this is too bad at all it's actually quite a bit better to be in a kayak than in a canoe because you have a lot more momentum. <laughs> There's a lot more cruising in these. And it's also really nice to have a double paddle because then he can just, you know, he can take over if, if I want to film. <laughs> but it's really nice out here. Lots of boats playing music, very Miami, but I think this is a really cool thing to do. You know, just a nice little day adventure. I think you do. Yes. Was that a... <laughs> what do you think? I think this is nice. Okay, paddle! Come on, paddle! Paddle! Faster! Come on! How are we gonna get? It only have one horsepower. It has one gear. Sle low gear. Oh my gosh, we are. We're gonna have to hold on to our hats and paddles. We have now made it back to where you leave everything. And we've decided that we're going to do, I don't know if this year, but we're going to see when we can do it. We want to do a kayaking trip in Norway on the fjords. Can you imagine how much fun and also how much fun to film? There's a rogue kayak. Should we take it with us? I think we should. Look at us being heroes. That was so much fun. Oh, it's very dark in here, but I am soaked from sitting. So now I'm gonna have to change these. Two, another pair. That was a really nice activity. It's actually not that warm today. I think this is one of the colder states that we have, but it's for us the perfect temperature. <laughs> but I think I could have taken this off and gotten a bit of a tan, but I didn't. Now I am in dire need of a coffee. The hotel we were staying at had a very good gym, which was great because it meant that I didn't have to go far to get some exercise in. I have made it an even bigger priority this year to move my body in order to make it stronger and more able. On today's schedule was legs, and I actually used to do a lot more heavy lift days before, but now I have added some more mobility type of training to my schedule as well. I've also started to add a lot of more stretching, which is something I should have started with a long time ago, but there is no time like the present.
one thing that I always do when I travel is to stock up on things that I don't have access to on Svalbard or are really difficult to buy online. And one thing like that is workout shoes. So it was basically one of the main things on my shopping list for this trip. I have really been looking for a good pair of shoes that I can use for both gym workouts, but also for a bit of cardio. And I had heard really good things about these from Lululemon because they're made for women. So I picked up a pair the first thing I did. And let me tell you, they are incredible. They work perfectly on our long walks, but also work really good for the gym sessions like these ones. So I highly recommend them. After the workout, we popped over to our favorite cafe for the third time for that day. I think they think we're a little bit crazy to pick up another coffee, but also a post-workout smoothie and some sort of a raw bite. Very tasty. One of the things I like the most with traveling is the access to food and different types of restaurants. I love buying myself a nice beverage or a snack. I think I could easily live off of like cafe food for the rest of my life. Okay. Going into the supermarket to buy fresh berries and fruit and things like that is such a luxury and something I look forward to on these trips. On this trip, we really didn't want to do a lot of fancy dinners, so we put most of our food emphasis on our daytime meals. So this day, we just went back to the hotel, showered, and then we headed down to our local Flanagan's, <laughs> without a doubt, my favorite restaurant here in Miami. If you haven't been, you have to go and just try their firecracker shrimp. It is so good. It has been incredible to get a change of scenery, to do so many fun things with Christopher, and to just kind of relax. In next week's video, we will be back on Svalbard again, enjoying the slow return of the beautiful light and also the peace and quiet of our Arctic life. Thank you so much for being here and for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Love you. Bye.